often wonder how many people in, in chat have ever played Vanguard. And yes, it was an MMO from back in the, in the well. I don't think it was before WoW, was it? I thought it was around at the same time. I got into it quite late, sadly. Um, not long after I started playing it, uh, and then stopped for a little while because my friends we, we used to play lots of MMOs together, and we stopped to to try out the new hotness. And then I went back to it with fond memories and found that it wasn't there anymore. I was very sad. Fantastic, fantastic animal. All right, defend yourself by the strength of your spirit. Malakin, spiritual blessing, very nice indeed. Snakes down there. And a research point. Okay, well at this stage, we are no longer going for any of these. I mean, I guess I could get a guard tower, I suppose, if I really wanted to. Um, a dwelling... Shows the morale doesn't fall too low. An armory. Increases shielding of villages. I mean, that might be nice for some things. I don't think we're going to go for the trading post. Though, that being said, it provides a metal bar or a gem each turn. Hmm. I think I have to go now. Got to go and eat. So I'll see the rest of the stream in the Vodlands. Hope you'll play more of this game. I absolutely love it. Thanks for the stream. You're more than welcome, mate. It was wonderful to get to stream with you. Yeah, another source of metals may not be awful, to be fair. And whilst we're waiting on getting the materials to build the herbless hut. I may as well see what we can do with this. Right, so it's leather first. Trading post just adds a tier one resource. Okay. This building is completed. A trader will show up immediately and you get a chance he will visit you in the future. Also provides a random common resource each turn. What about this? It doesn't really change it. What about making it of gems? Doesn't really change it. What about making it of stone? Doesn't change it. And that is that is the the long short of it then. Yeah, like this place is super easy to do. My lord. Shouldn't even be using that stuff. I should be going for this instead. There we go. Trading post of leather. Okay, so I guess it comes down to what material do we want this made of? Do we want it made of gems? Trading post of gems. Do we want it to be a trading post of metals? Oh, we can't do a trading post of metals. Very sad. Trading post of bones. What say you, chat? Gems, leather, or bones? I'm considering it, Bilal. Lindsay Borogrove, thank you so much for the six months. Damn it, I missed this. I'll have to watch the VOD. Yay, T2. <laughs> Bones to intimidate the incoming traders into giving us better better prices. I like your reasoning there. It, uh, idiot syncrasy. I like it a lot. Very well. Bones it shall be. seems fit of Kanaya. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Caravan stops near your settlement. They ask if they can rest a while. They offer to share some of their food. Invite them in. You feast together and share food and drink. The travelers regale you with tales of their adventures. And that's when the holic bastard left us high and dry with our pants down in the middle of the bog. Ha ha. Ah. That was a wild night. 
Well, truth be told, we got wet, cold, and lost, and eventually Streetbog guided our path to safety. Anyway, we've often spotted places full of adventuring, but we don't always have the means to go. So here, take one of our treasure maps and have fun with it. But don't blame us for any mischief. They set out and leave you with the food and the map. Wish them well on their travels. Ask the trade before they go. Right. Uh, no, no. No, no. Ugh. Yes. Uh, no. Find a garbo, actually. I'll take the steel. All right. I will accept. I will trade. <laughs> I've got a thousand two hundred and five fish cakes, chat. Oh my lord. Also, why couldn't we have been offered that amazing weapon at our home base? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Good training with you. Now we're off. They set out and leave you with food and a map. Fish Cake Baron, indeed. Yeah. Your training post is attracted to the really. Invite the traders in, tell the traders. Uh, yeah, go ahead. The orc trader offers their ways. The trader's stall stands open before you. Eh, uh, no. Eh, uh, also no. No, they're all just straight up um, physical attacks. That's a shame. That's not bad. Uh, heavy armor, though. A stonewood medium armor. I'll accept. Also, I accept. I also accept you. Also, accepting these. And these. And also these. I will now share with you the bounty of my kitchens. I will not give them all to you. I will keep a few. Next up, what's the next food source that we have? Sandwiches. Next up, some bread. And these. And these. And these. Also this stupid evil goat. Also, no. Um, no, okay, fine. I'm taking back some of my sandwiches, though. We can also have that one. Though. And this one. And this one. And that's... Massive disappointment of a dark coat. Um... There you go. What's wrong with the goat? The goat makes you more likely to die. It's about as bad as a pet can be. I'll let you carry more things. In exchange, you might die more often. Right, actually, chat. It is a decrease. I I didn't reread that after someone in chat pointed out that oh no, you you lose health from it. And it's like oh my god, why? I think you're quite right. Quite right. Okay, in that case, then I need to uh, shore up the lost a little bit more. Um, I guess you can have some more of the sandwiches then. Oh, perfect. Amazing. Yep, okay. well, there we are. Now, go fight your enemies. Indeed. You go and eat. 
Not the goat, though. Don't eat the goat. That would be very wrong of you. You, um, you can't eat the goat. It's ours. That would be especially wrong of you to eat our goat. Please don't eat our goat. Well... Our healer will have the healing goat. Seems fair. Our witch can have the incredibly good protective gear. Probably settle about here. A uh, demon is approaching you aggressively. Defend yourself by the strength of your spirit. Light sick Alconost. Social blessing. Another thing to research. Something we can break down immediately. Uh, actually, if we go here. Oh. The path you were on seemed solid and safe, but you realize too late that you stepped into quicksand. Try to backtrack quickly. You managed to turn back onto solid ground and the struggle against the quicksand strengthened you. Good guy, quicksand. Right, finally, let's get some of these being gathered. Of course, you're a very high level, that's why. Okay, well, in that case, may as well do it like that. Right, now we can gather some bones. Whilst we're doing that, still don't have enough bones that I can use there, sadly. We will get this set up soon. This is most likely going to be where we're going, or what we're going for. Actually, uh, yeah, we were going for one to two herbs. Good idea. There we are. That would be perfect. Plus one extra ritual slot. Uh, in fact, I'm going to nail this down. And we'll just get to it. I haven't gone to a new island, but I have uh, sailed around. I've explored. The I've explored the rest of the newbie island, but we haven't gone to the the goblin island just yet. we need to deal with. I could have a look at what that is, I suppose, but I'm probably not going to jump into the water to play with that. Shadow Star, uh, I guess we will increase your reliable argument. And we're going to increase Master Gatherer for Jake Jody. My laptop screen buffering, so I switched to mobile. It could be the Windows update, yeah. I mean, that messed up Lady Shoe Lab. On that note, looking at the time, I'm going to have to wrap up shortly. If I want to get that order in for sushi and ice cream. Spend a few more turns gathering... 
Uh, shadow bones. Point in upgrading, show, uh, getting showing off now. You're way too high a level for us to pick up a new skill set. Uh, Olip uh, Olipop, I will not forget, don't you worry. Got Spring Critters gift sub, and also if. I promise Mac is still around to invite him into the corporation on star, uh, Starbase. Sushi ice cream is a combination I am, at best, leery of, but I hope it's fabulous. <laughs> sushi and ice cream. Not sushi ice cream. Uh, defend yourself by the strength of your spirit. It's a beast. We won't. We'll see if we can maybe get some uh, rupees back from that. We've entered the stage now where we are definitely quite powerful. And as such, we are spending a lot of time just gathering. We have actually got a couple of uh, rupees, though, so quite nice. We'll probably sail back down the coast, though. We might run into some shenanigans, we'll see. It's rice cream, oh my lord. Okay, winter time, I think that's gonna be our sign to head back, so... Donk. cover as much ground as we can before we hop into the water. Now, I can't see what might be coming. So there is a, there is sincere danger right now. Yes, we've got a fairly powerful group, but we could easily lose. Easily. The seas in Thea are treacherous. I, a demon circle. I think we will actually go aground just to deal with this. Let's use magic. Honestly, they're just making us more powerful at this point. Uh, demons approaching. Once again. They're making us very, very powerful at this point. This is not going to go well for them. You find a demon nest, which in itself is an oddity. Clearly something to uh, drives these demons to congregate here and roam the territory. Uh, ask them why they're acting like this. It's not common for demons to behave like uh, common beasts. They do not answer, as if enthralled by some spell, but your words give them pause and they abandon the nest in silence. Hmm. Oh, you're ambushed by goblin bandits. Well, we are a goblin, or one of us is. Try to parlay with the bandits. Eh? You think it's never good to crap on your own? What can you offer? Convincing that the bandit life is unwise in the eyes of the goblin go uh, gone fathers. I love the term gone fathers. Uh, you're so right, man. We do this thing, but we're not happy. You shame us. We go back to our tribe. Before they depart, they leave some of their stolen loot. Oof, a big upgrade to destiny. And to intelligence. In total, that's 3.6 points of a tribute increase. My lord. Invite them to eat and drink before they depart. 
And we got a bunch of gold and silver as well. My goodness, that was good. That was a heck of an upgrade. Right. Got any points left? Yes, we do. Village visitors and the nest down there that we need to deal with. Little goat. Uh, mysticism, please, and thank you. Also, research time. All right, we're now at a point where there's more or less nothing that we want. I could get some more buildings, but really, I think I'm going to leave the buildings alone for now. For a little while, at least. The next thing we can look at, I can either go for artifacts, wands, that sort of thing. Or I can start bumping into heavy armors. That being said... That being said, we could hold out and instead pick up a level 2, or sorry, a tier 3 resource. I'd need to wait until the next turn to do it. Either way, if I wait for two turns, I if I decide that I want heavy armor, I can just upgrade straight to the highest tier of heavy armor, which is what I would do before I built any anyway, or I can go for a, a tier 2, a tier 3 resource rather. I think we'll go for the tier 3s. You find the remains of an ancient structure, likely unearthed by the shattering. Most parts are not accessible, but some may be explored. Search the northern areas. You search the northern areas to discover that this must have been a treasury long ago. If any goods remain, they are deep underwater, so you must dive and search the dark depths for the treasure. Okay, not too bad. You discover the treasure and find your way back up. Uh, ring, soul damage, not worth it. Steel battle axe, junk. Um, I mean, that's not a bad weapon, but not what we're going for. That is actually a crazy good item. We'll keep that one. But wow. And some more gold. And a lot of EXP, too. Nice. Hello. You approach the beehive the Slavians asked you to clear. Druid or nature, there's no need for violence. You simply need to ask them to share. The bees buzz in unison, listening to your words. They agree to cooperate with the human village. If the humans keep away and leave them in peace, the bees will in turn give some of their honey away. Hooray! And yes, no, exactly, Terrakins. I love how often there's a peaceful or diplomatic option. Sometimes there's just cunning options. You know, it's it's not always necessarily uh, that the, the options are nicer. Um, sometimes they're just more practical or, or just... You know, work um, smarter, not harder kind of things. A villager scout was watching you and approaches. Ah, oh, be damned. You reasoned with the stingers. Great. I guess we won't mind the buzz if it gets us honey. Thank you. And here, this is your reward. Not a bad dog. Not a bad dog at all. Um, bonus with singers and the Slavians there. Hooray! So we're going to give you a wolf companion because that's going to bump your perception up to dizzying levels. That was a very wolfish dog. I know, right? Okay. Uh, we've got one more quest to do. And then we can head home, finally. Couple of levels, also some more coal. That was good to see. You're definitely going for mysticism. 
you would benefit from mysticism, but I guess we're not going to get there. Sadly. In this case, getting wisdom because it'll upgrade your luck. I think we're going to level up Ghostly Axe. Okay, not, not the best option there with a character who's so close to max level. But it is what it is. Come in somewhere friendly. Some more nut tincture. Even more nut tincture and some more research material. Human gatherers. We found the spot marked on your map as a treasure, but it's a very thick and dark grove that seems quite damp and cold, so searching it will not be easy. You search the grove and discover a wolf lair. Perhaps the treasure is hidden within. Nature or beast, call upon, the na on, upon nature to calm the wolves and allow you to search the cave undisturbed. The wolves accept you as part of nature and allow you to enter, but you feel their eyes upon you with every step. They may change their minds at any point. You do, however, spot a chest stashed in a hole deep within the cave. Ten dryad wood, some mythical leather, some dragon bone. Take what you can and quickly leave. Risk angering the wolves and search the cave more. Mm. Hmm. What say you, chat? I'm seeing risk it for the biscuit. All right. The wolves lose their patience and attack. Uh, they also lose their lives because realistically they had no chance. A steel club can get recycled, but scaled jewelry. Interesting. Bright mind. I can easily make that, so it's fine. All right, we've also got uh, wolf material to research, so not bad, all things considered. Sad that the wolves had to die, but... Some, wow, a hefty bunch of levels, okay. Uh, we're not going to go for a new skill. I'll increase protection. Uh, I will increase destiny because that is uh, Hungarian Lucy's main stat. Nosferatu Light will have mysticism. And Avacalypticon shall get outmaneuver. With that, we will return safe and sound to home sweet home. Okay, we can now have our best crafter get to work. And I'll tell you what, we'll build the, uh, the witch hut of bone before we do anything else, before I wrap up the stream. Uh, go ahead and gather some fish. Fish is fantastic and seaweed as well because it doesn't decrease in winter. It's one of the few things that doesn't. Uh, we've got 300 wood. We don't need more. Is it me there? I needed to sneeze. Um, yeah, sure. We'll just get you helping out with that. go. We are about to get our second. Oh, actually, no, we just. No, I think that was calculated just that. There we go. We've now got two. 
And the witch's hat is made. Hooray! Heavy snow, though. Reduce visibility by three and movement points by two. Well, thankfully, we're not going anyway, so that's fine. Alright. That was actually quite amazing. We've still got one to go as well. That's, that's legitimately pretty cool. So, what it comes down to now is, do we go for a tier 3 resource? In which case, it is either going to be ancient wood, diamond, or mythical leather. Oh, thank you very much, Ollie Pop. Tier 3 resource. Okay. And the question begs, which Tier 3 resource are we going to go for? I think that comes down to, what am I going to be using for crafting? Gems can be used in lots of things. But so can ancient wood. Also, of course, mythical leather. Right now, I'm gonna say that probably. I'm gonna say probably wood is gonna be more more useful to me. Uh, the reason why we don't want dragon bone is because we don't have an easy source of bones. Whereas all the others are... I'm actually m gathering that that um, type of resource. I've got stone. Well, we're not going to be doing obsidian. But I'd be able to... I, I'd have to upgrade through iron to one of the tier 2 resources. So I'd actually have to unlock one of those first. And then from that on to mithril. Malachite is a tier 2 resource, so I could go straight up to diamond. And fur leather, which I'm also harvesting, I could just go straight up to mythical. And I'm also harvesting dark wood, so I could go straight to ancient wood. And I think, I think ancient wood is going to be used more often. Do we have diamond on this island? We do. I haven't seen it. Where's the diamond you speak of? Just east of the village. Oh, you're quite correct. Yeah, we do. That's a very good point, then. All right. Diamond it is, then. There we go. Diamond purchased. We'll send out some uh, gathering parties in uh, once we pop back before we head out over to the goblin islands or maybe on the way we'll gather a bunch of diamond as we go and yes raging fury making a boat out of uh, out of a tier three wood would be quite cool though realistically speaking that will be hard like the amount of coal needed to make that much Tier 3 wood would be pretty, pretty chonky. Oh, thank you very much, Chess. 
Right, okay. Well, that is going to be it for the year, though. I think we've done rather well. Uh, let's have a quick, quick glance over the roster as it is standing. I think we're doing quite nicely. I do need to make a gem for final sight. Or rather, a piece of jewelry for final sight. But yeah, we've got two full pages of peeps. Dark Avak is now level 17, as is Abacalypticon. So they have basically three more lev levels to go. What's everyone's usual strategy for this game? I turn to Beeline for Crystal Wood every game, and then make gathering baskets for everyone. I mean, you know, you can definitely do things like that. Um, I don't think I really have a strategy per se. I, I kind of feel it out depending on on the the situation. But uh, so I guess my strategy is being flexible. But that is going to be it. Uh, it it's it, syncrasy. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. <laughs> it's very keen on my mind. But with that, thank you ever so much for joining everyone. If that is going to be it for your stream watching this evening, then uh, thank you very much for joining me. It was a pleasure. If you do have a little bit more time left, though, then hold on to your seats, um, because it would be horrible if they ran away without you. And also, because we will be finding someone to raid right after I give out the gifts up, and then good old uh, Plumber's Mac, if they're around, can get in on the Dappling Corporation in Starbase. Thank you very much for reminding me, though, chat. All right. <laughs> MTG Wizard, thank you very much for the Prime. That was very, very kind of you. I hope you enjoyed the stream and aren't literally just joining as we're wrapping up. Uh, if you are, though, don't worry. The VODs will be there, so you can catch up on about, uh, let's see, about nine and a half hours worth of Theatre 2. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. But that's going to be it from me for now.